All right, all right, first off, look, I'm gonna start it like this. I know people be having problems with the PS4 controller, trying to set it up to your PC. So if you're having problems, I gotta, I gotta teach y'all this real quick before I hop right back into playing Halo, which that series is coming up quick. I'm gonna just drop this right now so you guys can know. But this is the more updated version. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to the internet. I don't know what yours look like, but mine's look like the little circular thing. So hit the internet, go over to Google, come right here to DS4 windows uh you can type it in on the on the search or you can type it in at the top whatever you want to do first thing that pop up is right here this is the one you want to go to it's got the it's got everything you need on there it, it'll do everything that you needed to do don't ask questions just <laughs> no i'll figure this i have to figure this out on my own because i downloaded another software and i tried to play with my controller it didn't work so i came and i did it this way and it worked so basically what you're gonna do is hit the download button you're gonna come down here hit zip you're gonna download this one this is the newest version don't try to you know what i'm saying go all the way down here because all of this stuff is outdated you do is come over here hit zip bow as soon as you do that let it go a little you know what i'm saying hit this right here go up to click the files you got to go click your files open your files up bow it's gonna pop all of this stuff up but what you want to do is go ahead and click on ds4 adapter this is how it uh it deceives like the the system into thinking that this is an xbox controller you hit extract all uh, i don't know where you want your files to be saved at i don't know how you want to save them but that's up to you you can save it to your desktop like the actual desktop or you can save it to your own uh hard drive if you got an external hard drive or internal hard like an extra hard drive whatever you want to do you can do it your way but like you can do it right here like mine's is right here so what I'm going to do is save it to my hard drive, extract. Uh, I already did it, but I'm just redoing it. It's because I already downloaded it. But when you download it, it'll, it'll show you, like, it'll go through all of this. It'll do the same exact thing. It'll show you just like this one, but it'll be like this. Then you can hit the DS4 adapter. If you want to put this on the main screen, you can click, drag it, and put it over there, or whatever or you can use this one i don't use this one because this one doesn't pull up what i needed to but once you download it once everything is finished you you do the you the ds4 adapter you hit open window and this should pop up and when this pops up if you don't see this at the top of your screen then it's not working for you but it works bro it works now like i could go right now and show you like i can hop on halo and show you that it works but matter of fact i could just do like this you feel me <laughs> but that's how you get your ps4 controller to work on uh on uh pc guys if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like hit that subscribe button come back for more i will be dropping the halo real soon guys peace